With legs. What do you want to focus on? Um, I think quads. Quadzilla. So normally what I do, like some weeks I'll split my week where like I'll do just a quad day and then quad day and then like a little bit of hamstrings at the end and then I'll do ham day with a little bit of quad so you're hitting them both. Yeah. But I want to do probably like a full, full leg day. Lower body. But then like we'll start with quads. Yeah. We're going to start with... And I actually do extensions twice in my workout. I'll start, I'm gonna start with them, and we're gonna just go super, super duper light. The Jose Raymond extensions. Um, we're gonna go 15 at the top, where you're sort of fluttering at the top, and then you're gonna go 15 at the bottom, and then we're gonna go five regular, five hold, five regular. Up. We're going to do box squats next um, because Smith Machine's being taken and with front squats. Have you ever done front squats? No, Bars up no, here and you hold. It's very, it's a little awkward so I like to do them on Smith Machine for like most people that are just beginning because yeah. the bar is not really going to, you don't have to worry about Being really stable. holding it up so much. So, but someone's on that. I need to find a box and then we'll hit front squats after. So this is box squats and you can use a bench like if, if you don't have uh, boxes at your gym. A lot of times our gym doesn't have boxes made so you can pull over a bench. The bench is usually going to be a little bit higher and when it's higher I can go heavier but since we're going a little bit lower this is going to be below parallel. And after, since we already pre-exhaust, we don't have to go quite as heavy with this. We're gonna get pretty low with this. And the purpose with box squats is you're actually gonna sit down, keep your back straight, and because you're stopping and you don't have like momentum going, you're gonna go to a complete stop. So then you're gonna almost rock up, power up. You come down, sit, you rock back a little bit, and then really you're gonna use power to get up. So this will start, I put like my feet about the width of the box and slightly in front. So you're gonna sit down, come back, keeping your back straight, chest up, and then push up. Rock back. Yep, squeeze up. And you don't like lock your knees out or anything. This would be like locked. So it's always like a slight bend in your knees. You don't ever want to like hyper extend or lock your knees out. So come down, power up. Come down, power up. What up, Steve Cardillo? Thanks for the bell.
tag me and I'm gonna steal those. Ah! Look, we're doing photo shoots now. Next, we're gonna do front squats. Front squats, bar is gonna be in front of you. And since they're a little bit more technical and it, they're a little bit harder to do, so I like to do them on Smith Machine for anyone that's like just learning how to do them. Because this way, the Smith Machine, you can't really mess it up. The bar's not, you're not going to be all wiggly and wobbly. It's very controlled and it actually helps you focus a little bit even more than you would with like regular barbell. So how you hold it, it should be like choking you to the point it's not really the most comfortable thing but it really targets the front of your quads so I rest it like just right on top of your delt and it's going to be like right like if you had an Adam's apple it'd be like right under an Adam's apple and then I do feet a slightly a little under shoulder width stay on your heels so again I'll probably take my shoes off again but push through your heels but you're gonna feel it mostly. It's gonna hit your glutes and your hamstrings. Any squat's gonna hit your full leg. This just focuses a little bit more on your front. So bring it, so it's right about there. Yep, and then I'll help you off and turn it. Feel it like, and then you just wanna like keep your elbows up. Can I hold it? Yeah, you can hold it or put your hands here. It should stay. Yeah, you move them slightly forward so that your knees aren't going in front. And then you're gonna sit, sit your butt all the way down. I think you got it down. Hold on to my Dummy rap, running, running, running circles, ran you on my final lap. What you think of that? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a thundercat. I reign from now till the church puts me under that. Sneaking out the side door, can't use the entrance. Is this real life? Or David at the dentist, screaming, run, tell that. Homeboy, I'm next level. I'm Mike Tyson in the booth, I'm the devil. Hold on to my DLB with MHP and a lot of you have probably seen this ad in some of your favorite magazines next to uh, my boy Victor Martinez in this one but I've been getting tons of questions and emails and messages about what dopamine is and what it can do you know as well as I know dieting sucks nobody actually likes to diet and if you do you're a freaking weirdo Give me pizza and ice cream all day long. Whether you're prepping for a show or you just have a weight loss goal that you want to achieve, everybody struggles with your diet. Training's the easy part, dieting is the hard part. We all struggle at some point with temptations and cravings and overeating and cheating. So dopamine is here to help. Basically what dopamine does, it addresses the levels of dopamine in your brain. Quick science review, I used to be a teacher. Um, dopamine is a neurotransmitter in your brain that helps to regulate your mood, um, your behavior. It uh, is the driving force behind your reward and motivation system. And it's basically when you have higher levels of dopamine, you're gonna feel happy you're gonna feel more satisfied, you're gonna have higher energy levels, you're gonna feel excited, and it's all positive. You'll have more of a positive outlook. So basically what dopamine's gonna do, it's gonna help you to feel more satisfied. It's gonna help you control those temptations um, and those urges to maybe cheat. Um, and it's just basically going to help you 
to stick to your diet so that you can actually work towards your goal. Dieting just got easier. I'm DLB. Check out the mic.